Welcome guys. Good evening. We are going to start in just a few moments. Wait for some people to hop on here. Today is day three, session six, yeah? So we started on Tuesday. If you are ever seeing this repeated in the future, uh, we're, we started on Tuesday doing two classes a day, um, morning and evening. We'll do them both um, Monday through Friday, as long as we are shut in with this Corona virus. So I'm so happy to have you guys here. We'll give it just another couple minutes for folks to hop on. I'm just checking all the channels here and make sure I have given everyone the notification. Let me know how your day was. Let me know you're here if you like. So good to have you guys. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Just go ahead and settle in. If you're new to this practice online, we're just going to be one more minute. Um, you can um, get some props. So if you need any props, you can use, um, if you have a yoga strap, that's great. But if not, you can grab a scarf or a tie or something, some kind of string situation. Um, sometimes I use yoga blocks. A lot of people don't have those. So in the future, go to TJ Maxx or online and grab some. They're super, super, they've become super cheap. Or you can use a uh, box, right? Or something like Tupperware or your child's toys, right? Something like that. So nice to see you guys. Hop on in. Say hi if you feel like it. If you want to be anonymous, be anonymous. It's online. No one cares. Um, just fix this up a bit. Okay, so I'm just thinking, um, oh, hi, Kate, so nice to see you. So I'm just wondering how much we're going to do standing today. I don't usually do a lot of standing, but I do want to make sure I'm prepared in case so you can not see my head cut off. So we'll pop it up just a little bit. How's that? Okay, and then I'll just come close for the beginning. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, you're welcome. Thank you for coming and being a part of it and for all you do. You know, I'm sure you're working a lot. You guys who are on the front lines of your businesses. Uh, today was intense. I did my taxes today. <laughs> did anyone else do their taxes? Oh, sorry to bring up the T word. I just did them, and I'm glad they're done. Okay. So, yeah, I'm glad they're done. And actually, it was incredible because I was finding that that was giving me so much anxiety. <laughs> Talk about anxiety. I was like, why is my neck so intense right now? And I have one of those really intense head and neck massager things that you can get from like Amazon. You stick your hands in it and it's this massager that is so deep. My aunt actually got one and she returned it. She was like, it's too deep. I can't, it, it hurt. 
and I love it. It hurts so good. And so I was digging that just into my, my neck for like 15 minutes and into my back for 15 minutes. And I'm like hurting now, but in a good way, because it really, it, my muscles were so tight that the thing actually kept getting caught on my muscles. I was like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> just to give you a little story before we start. So welcome, welcome. Nine o'clock, just for those new, again, um, if you have pillows, uh, if, you, if you need to modify it, that's why my chair is in here. Uh, I do modifications because I have um, slip disc in my back. So if you want pillows, strap, or scarf, or um, bolsters, you can do a box, anything like that, okay? For just extra props to have around if you need anything. Home yoga, so fun. So today I actually wanted to introduce tapping. Now I am not a tapping expert, but I do do the practice once in a while when I'm feeling high anxiety. So uh, before every yoga movement class that we're gonna do, we do centering, and I do this in almost all my classes, not to this extent, but this will this is a nice uh, chance to get to do it for you guys. And so tapping is something that, you know, it's really connecting like the mind stuff with what we feel physically. And so if you guys have, you know, I talk a lot in my essential oil classes and in my yoga classes that um, when we feel emotion, we, it, we can't help but feel it in our bodies. You guys know what I mean? Like when you hear bad news, you go, <gasps> and you like feel it in your gut. You feel it in your, um, you know, your neck and shoulders. When you have a bad breakup with someone or when you find yourself in a state of grief, you often feel like this, like crush or when someone's talking about you, right? Like in middle school, like you feel yourself crushed. So, um, the body is really, really very affected physiologically by emotional stressors. Okay. So you can probably feel that this week, right? And so I want to address uh, the fear and anxiety that people are going through with some tapping. Now, just a quick, quick um, overview on tapping. And for those of you who want to know when this is going to, we will be totally, totally done by 9.45. So we'll end Shavasana by 9.45. Uh, we're going to have a short practice after our centering, okay? And so there's all these points, um, I think there's seven that we're going to go through. And the first one is we're going to tap, um, this is called the karate chop point. And this is kind of like to set the stage about what we're talking about. And then we're going to go through some of the fears that we have. And I'm just kind of showing you here all the points. The first one's on the top of the head. The second one is right here in the middle of the forehead. And we're going to go through this about at least three times, okay? The next one is um, on the side of the eye. So it's actually the bone right on the side of the eye. So I just want you to get used to feeling where these points are, right? We just came from the third eye. Now we're going to the side of the bone. The next one is right in the middle of the uh, nose and lip. The next one is called the chin, but it's actually right above the chin. So it's in that little divot, okay? The next one's the collarbone. Some people use two hands. I think it's like right about here, this the soft spot here. So I actually use my hand to go like this to my chest. And the last point is actually under the arm. So it's about four, uh, it's like where the bra strap would be, ladies. It's about four inches down from the armpit, okay? So what we're gonna do is I want you to take a deep breath for a moment and relax your shoulders. And I want you to just notice first the state of your stress, the state of your anxiety. And I want you to put a number to it. So it might be like, you know, you're on a number seven of anxiety. Some of you might be so, feel so rough right now, like, like you're on the verge of a panic attack. It might be like a 10 for you. So start to breathe into the belly. I just want you to notice, like label the number of it. Like, how do I feel? What's the number of anxiety of anxiousness that I feel? Excuse me. And so just notice that. So go ahead and start to tap with me. It doesn't matter which side you use. Okay, just whatever your dominant is, you can um, use that for tapping. So go ahead and tap the karate chop point. And you can say this out loud. Uh, it's actually more, more helpful if you say it out loud. If you don't want it because you have people around, that's fine. Just whisper it. But we're just gonna we're just gonna, get, gonna acknowledge the fear. So the first one is acknowledging the fear, the whole, we're just gonna get it all out of our system, and then we're gonna try to subdue it or, or pacify it, get it out of our system. So uh, take a deep breath, uh, all this fear. Actually, let's start here. Even though, say this with me, even though 
I have all this fear surrounding the coronavirus, COVID-19. I still deeply love and accept myself. We're going to say that a couple more times. Even though I have all this fear around the coronavirus, I still deeply love and deeply honor myself. Even though there's all this fear about the coronavirus, I still deeply love and deeply accept myself. All this fear, top of the head. All this fear surrounding the coronavirus, side of the eye. All this fear that I'm hearing from people, bottom of the eye. Under the nose, all this fear that I'm reading about. Under the lip, all this fear. Go ahead, all this fear on the collarbone. Right, right under the collarbone, all this fear. There's so much fear going around. It's like a pandemic of fear under the armpit. Good. And this fear has been something that has been in my life for a while. All this fear. Middle of the forehead, third eye. And you know, viruses have been around for a long time as well. Side of the eye. We've been through H1N1. We've been through SARS. We've been through lots of different epidemics, bottom of the nose. And there's still all this fear. All the fear that I'm getting from my friends, bottom of the lip. All the emails I'm getting constantly, like 30 a day, that are just telling me more about it. And then every time that I turn on a different video, I'm hearing more about this fear. Go ahead, top of the head. But I can recognize that I can breathe into this. Go ahead, deep breathe here. And every time you guys, by the way, keep tapping your head. Every time that you feel like a panic attack coming, just keep tapping. We're going to go through it a few times. And every time that you feel something a little more intense, I want you to breathe deeper. Maybe tap a little more, bit more, okay? Good. But I have this community of online yoga underneath the eye. I'm mean, going to have this community of all the people in my life. And I want to believe that my creator has a bigger purpose for all this underneath the nose. I want to believe that my creator is bigger than this virus under the lip. I want to believe that I have the power within me to build my immune system through practices of yoga under the armpit, through eating well, through drinking herbal tea, drinking lots of water, top of the head, through eating vegetables, through social distancing in the middle of the forehead. I want to know that I have this community, that I can be a leader for my community and offer whatever it is I have, even if it's a phone call. Keep tapping side of the eye because we will get through this bottom of the nose. My anxiety is just temporary. Everyone suffers, everyone has problems under the lip, but it's me who is the creator of my own day, of my own future, my own destiny. Go ahead, collarbone. And so I choose to breathe here. And I choose to be a part of my community. Top of the head. I know that we'll get through this. I choose to love myself. I choose to accept myself. Top of the forehead here. And I choose to love and accept myself deeply. Go ahead, take a deep breath, release that tapping, inhale. Exhale. And I want you to notice how you feel now. Breathe into the belly. Relax the shoulders, breathe into the side ribs. Relax the shoulders. Good, so notice what your number is. Mine's actually like at a zero right now. Just notice if that helped. And notice that these tools that we're uh, showing you throughout the week, 
are little things that you can just come back to every time you see a video, every time you get new news, every time you feel that anxiety, stop for a moment and just come back to it. Good. We're going to breathe in and just uh, come to our OM, our sound of peace. Inhale. Oh. Good. Go ahead and inhale. Roll right off of your uh, knees or roll to the side and come over to hands and knees onto your mat. I always forget to silence this thing. Oh, Jeffrey, you're so sweet, Karen. Give me a second. I just got to open this and just come to your mat for a sec. Sorry, it sounds squeaky. I always forget to silence my phone. Ooh, ringtone silence. Go for it. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. So on your mat, you're coming to hands and knees. And we're just going to come right into some easy cats and cows. So if you know that you need a deeper cat cow than what I'm doing this week, go for it. I'm doing something different so we can breathe into the belly. Inhale, drop the belly. Let the shoulder blades squeeze together. And then as you exhale, you're going to go Arch into the back, but not so much so that it hurts or anything, but really drop the head forward to release that thoracic spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, but just lift the heart. Don't lift the face too much, right? Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, arch into it, drop the head. We're going to do this five to ten times, depending on, this, on, the, on the pace that you're taking today. Right, I'm going to do about five. If you're going a little faster, do about ten. Exhale, drop the head. And wiggle those hips side to side. Thanks for staying with me, guys. This whole time, this practice will be awesome. We'll help you sleep tonight. Right, We're going to get the blood flowing, but nothing too fast, nothing too crazy. We're going to go right up into a down dog today, guys. So go ahead and push through the fingertips. Push through the knuckles. Start to wiggle and waggle, walk the dog, right? Bend one knee, bend the other knee. Oops, can you guys see me? That was paused for a moment, so I'm scared my internet uh, shut off for a second. Sorry about that. I'm not sure where, did, you, did we go up into down dog? <laughs> Were we in down dog when it shut off? All right, go ahead and come back to that down dog. Stay internet. All right, go ahead and Bend through the knees, right? I want you to come with the balls of your feet. And we're all going to inhale, glide forward to high plank together. Now you can always lower down. You can always lower down three quarters of the way. If you need to modify, drop the knees. Go ahead and lower down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Lift through the belly, lift through the heart. Exhale, all the way back to child's pose. Now go ahead. If you need um, props, you can use your pillows or that box or Tupperware I was talking about, modifying. Oh, I gotta crack my ankle. And then exhale, Come, bring your head down all the way, or if you need to modify, right, you're just gonna bring your uh, forehead to some kind of block, some kind of prop. You can stay here or you can bring your hands away from you. Good, for three more. And two. Good, you're gonna inhale. Roll all the way up, back to downward facing dog. Let me check, make sure my internet is stable here. Okay. Now, for those of you who need to uh, modify, you can follow my lead. My chair is behind me, of course. I didn't bring it in the right direction. But I'll show you how I would modify without any props. You're going to, those of you in down dog, go ahead and walk to the top of your mat. If you need to modify, you can drop the knees. Come on up with me, step one foot forward, step the other foot forward. Okay, root down, I know you, come I cut off my head. Inhale, lift, exhale, right down through heart center. Cut off my head. <laughs> all right, from here, root down, lift all the way up. Just a little warm up, warm up our muscles before we come and hold a few different poses. Exhale, right down through heart center. Root down, lift up. 
As you exhale, swan dive all the way forward, guys. Drop the head. If you're modifying with me, we're just going to come back, drop the knees again. Good. Plant the hands, step back to downward facing dog. One more time. We're going to do it a little quicker this time. Inhale, glide forward, high plank. You can lower down into chaturanga if you know it. Drop your knees here to modify. Elbows in as you lower down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift through the heart, lift through the knees. Exhale, back to child's pose or downward facing dog. Good. If you'd like to uh, open the hips with me tonight, just one more time, you're going to drop the knees to modify and open the right leg. Or if you need to do the full pose, stay in down dog, bring that knee up to the ceiling and then open and stack the hips. Bring that right foot to the ceiling. Good. And then just exhale, release. We're not going into a lunge or anything right now. Okay, same thing. If you need to modify, drop the left knee first, open the hip. Otherwise, bring that knee behind you. Open and stack the hip here. Maybe straighten out that leg for three. And two. Good. Inhale. Release it down. Walk it out. Good. Drop the knees again here. I'm going to bring back my modification blocks, so I'm calling it. Now, some of you are going to drop your head all the way down. Okay, I'm just going to use blocks today. You're going to bring your hands behind you and start to open up. Open up those arms all the way behind you. Really start to move the shoulders. You can move left and right. Notice all the tension back there in the shoulder blades for three. And two. Good. And one. We're going to inhale. Start to... Bring our hands back towards our knees and then lift straight up into our earth salutation. Inhale. As you exhale, come on down to hands and knees. Drop the belly, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the heart. Exhale, cat pose. Drop the neck. Drop the head. You can't really drop a neck, can you? And then exhale, come down to child's. Oh, that ankle needs to crack. So bring it back. I love hearing cracks in my yoga classes. Inhale, lift. Good. From here, one more time. We're just going to try that again. We're going to bring our head down like we just did before. Just see if we got open a little bit more. Bring the hands behind you. Start to curl them over. Now, some of you are going to bring the top of your head, the crown of your head, all the way up. Right? If you're down, go for it for three. And two. Inhale. Come out of it. Now, what we're in right now is called puppy pose. The hips are high, right? Our hands are going to start to walk away. Go ahead and drop the forehead all the way down. And start to open up through the armpits here. Open up through the hands, right? The fingertips are down. Stay here for a moment. Really let the belly hang. Really let the belly hang. Opening up the heart. Let the shoulders come together. Good. From here, guys, you're going to drop the left hand and then thread that right arm all the way through. So you're going to bring the temple to the floor. If your temple does not go all the way, get a block or get a pillow and uh, bring your, your head to, to, a, to a, I was going to say to a temple, to a block or whatever you have. Good. So it's this little thread the needling, not as intense as we did yesterday. So good. For three. And two. And one. We're going to remove that prop. Come all the way back into a full puppy again. And then inhale. Plant the right hand. Grab that block if you need it or pillow. Thread the left arm through. Left temple to the floor. Good. For three more. And two. Good. Root down and back into your puppy. All right. From here, since we're already kind of down, we're going to just drop the forearms down. The bum is still in the air. And you just slither like a snake all the way into sphinx pose. Now go ahead and adjust a little bit so the forearms, right? So you, can you guys see me? 
Yeah, I think you can. So the forearms are the the elbows are right underneath the shoulders, and you're really rooting down through the the hands like you're in down dog hands, right? So root down, look forward, lift through the heart, guys. Lift through the knees. We're not tucking our toes. The shoelace side is touching the floor, right? Lifting through the knees, lifting through the belly, lift through the heart. Last two. Last one. Inhale. And as you exhale, come on down, plant the hands, come all the way back to child's pose or your downward facing dog. Good. Three breaths here. Stay in your dog pose for a moment. Good. Last breath. From here, you're going to either walk all the way up to the tippy top of your mat, or you're going to drop the knees, come forward as you stand up, or you can use your chair in front of you, one foot, and then the other foot to the top of your mat. Good. Root down, lift all the way up, inhale. Exhale, right down through heart center. Good. One more time. Root down, lift all the way up. Exhale right down through heart center. We're going to open up to whatever side of the mat uh, that you can face me. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Now we're going to either bring the chair or the blocks or the box or whatever you have. Okay. We're going to bring the hands to the hips really on the outside of the feet. We're going to root down, right? So we're going to feel that rootedness all the way up. Inhale. Good. And as we exhale, we're going to start to lean forward. But we're going to come back up, so don't go all the way down. We're just going to lean forward halfway. And then inhale, root down to lift all the way up. I want you to do this so that you can feel the strength in your legs. And what is good to do on this next one is to bring one hand behind the head, one hand behind the low back, like you're holding on to a, a stick or something. Inhale, come halfway down. And then exhale all the way up. Right? Inhale into the belly. And then exhale, all the way up. Last time, inhale. Good. As you come halfway down, you're going to actually drop both hands onto blocks or onto the um, floor. And then rock side to side for a moment. Okay. And what we're going to do here is plant the left uh, hand. I'm going to do it opposite of you, I guess. Plant the left hand right down below the face. The right hand is going to come to the hip. And start to open that right shoulder, but make sure the left hip stays that way. It stays, or whatever way, stays toward the left. Okay, your left hip stays toward the left. And you're inhaling just the shoulder up, right? We're not going to turn the shoulder too high tonight. Just breathe here with a straight hips for three. Make sure my internet's working in two. Good. You're going to inhale back to center. Place the hand right below the face on either a proper chair or the floor. Inhale to that left side. You're going to keep that right hip reaching the other way. Flat back. Three. And two. And one. Inhale back to center. Start to engage your feet. Okay. Root down and just lift all the way back up. Lift all the way back up. Good. You step back to the front of your mat. And here, see if you can bring the toes together. If not, just do hips distance. It's fine. You're going to inhale into chair pose. Root down. Lift all the way up. Okay. Nice and strong in the legs for three. And two. Good. Exhale. Straighten the legs and fold all the way down to your forward fold. Uttanasana. Those modifying stay halfway. You can bend the knees. Come with me. Exhale all the way back to downward facing dog. Okay, one more time. We're going to open and stack the hip. Now you can do that with a drop back knee, remember? Or all the way up. Okay, I just want to open those hips a little tonight. Three and two. Now, as you come all the way through, we're actually going into a pigeon. 
So we're gonna bring the knee all the way through. I'm gonna face you just so I can show you some modified versions of it. If you know your pigeon, go into it right away. The knee's gonna come straight up from the hips. The other foot is gonna kind of point toward the other hip. I'll show you two ways I love to modify this. The first way I love, the second way is just another option. If you have a block or a pillow, something a little sturdy, you're actually gonna put it behind, I'll show you this way, the back thigh. A lot of places don't teach this, but I like it behind the back thigh to lift up the entire hip section, okay? Now, those who are going down, you might actually grab a block and hug it or put the top of your head on it, okay? If you can come all the way down, you can hug the, squeeze the block here. Okay, I'm gonna stay a little more upright today. The other thing that you can do, which a lot of places teach, is just to put something underneath the bum to kind of prop you up there. I don't love that because it kind of gets you off hip center. So just find your pigeon. And if none of this feels good to you guys, you're actually gonna come down onto your back and just do a figure four like we did this morning, okay? It's the same on the right side. It's the same uh, kind of stretch without your body weight, okay? So just do whichever version feels good to you here. We're actually gonna be here for about at least five more breaths. So take it nice and slow. Deepen your breath, start to deepen that breath. And as you inhale, start to come all the way up, right? You're gonna plant the hands and come on up. Now scooch that back foot back more to see if you got a little more supple in the hips, okay? From here, you can do any um, other advanced uh, modification that you need to, maybe bend that back knee, okay? Or you can tuck the back toe and lift, open, and back up. You might come to hands and knees. You might lift all the way back up to that open three-legged dog. Okay, invitation to stay here in down dog, or you can always glide forward to high plank again, drop through your vinyasa. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and lift, and then exhale back through your hip opener, right, for the second side. So go ahead, get any props that you're gonna need to for that second side. Maybe you open the left hip, maybe your right knee is dropped right now. And then as you inhale, we come back to square hips. Draw that knee all the way through and step it into your pigeon. You're gonna take the block if you need that modification, bring it under the back thigh. And then maybe just plant the head on another prop, even the chair is fine. So taking your time here to get into any modification, even if it's back on your back in that um, figure four. Take about five more breaths. So really allow the breath to take over here. Activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Deep in your breath. By the way, I love the block if you have one under the back thigh also because it really digs into the muscle. It kind of opens up. I like to rock back and forth. So when you're ready, deepening the breath, you start to come up. If you're not, and you start to scooch back that back foot, scooch it back even more. You can even bend the back knee if you have any more advanced uh, moves to do there. You can start to tuck the toe. You can come right out into um, tabletop, hands and knees. 
or if you want to come back into that open pose, go for it. You're going to inhale, uh, stay in down dog, come in child's pose if you want, or glide forward, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Excuse my wiggling, I'm just trying to get around my props. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, back to child's pose or down dog or puppy for five breaths. So take your rest pose here for a few moments. Good. Whichever pose feels good to you, just to recalibrate the breath, just to come back into your neutral. Three. And two. So good. If you are in child's pose, come on up and sit in hero for one moment. If you are in down dog, drop your knees and come and sit in hero. We're just going to lean forward and do one little dolphin. So I want to teach you this. Um, we're going to do a modified uh, dolphin here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come forward into, try and see the best way you can see this. We're going to come forward into um, a forearm down tabletop, but here's the very important part, okay? Here's the very important part. You're going to grab onto your elbows. Can you guys see me okay? You're going to grab onto your elbows, and that's the distance that your elbows are going to be. The, the distance that you can hold on to them is the distance that they're going to stay. You're going to release just your hands, okay? Now, when you clasp your hands, and can you feel, like sometimes when we clasp our hands, the pinkies come on top of each other. We want both of the pinkies to have floor space so we can see both of them and feel both of them touching the mat. So as you're down there like that, grabbing the elbows, release the elbows, clasp your hands, you want both of the, the pinkies to touch the floor. And the crown of your head, which is the top of the head, is going to come straight down. Now, you can watch me first before you come into this. My forearms are the thing that's taking almost all of my weight, pretty much all my weight, okay? From here, my head is barely touching, but it's the very, very, very top, not the forehead, the very top. And I'm going to tuck my toes and just check out my strength here today. So I'm just going to lift my hips. You might just stay right there. Just notice what your body can take today. And exhale, release. Okay, we're going to do that two more times. Now, some of you have a little more strength in your shoulders and in your core, and you're going to do the same thing. Drop your head down. You're going to lift those hips high, and some of you are just going to walk straight up towards your head just a little bit. Let the hips come straight up for three and two. Exhale all the way back down. You can just stay here with the head down for a moment. And then when you're ready, maybe try one more. Right? Maybe you go back to the first time you did. Maybe somewhere in the middle. See if the heels want to drop any amount. Three more. And two. Good. Exhale all the way back. We're going to go ahead and stay down. Stay down. Come kind of in a child's pose. I want the hands to be uh, one fist down and then the other fist right on top of that fist. And for me, I'm going to use my blocks and prop my head up a little bit more because I'm not supposed to be in child's pose. Good. Triggers my back spasms. For three and two. Good. From here, guys, I want you to come back to downward dog, or if you've had enough, okay? So those who are going to downward dog, go from down dog and just walk up to the top of your mat. And for those of us uh, here, we're just going to bring one foot forward and the other root down, lift all the way up, inhale. Good. One thing standing here as we root down, we're going to start to bring our feet together if we can stand that. Root down, inhale, lift, inhale, exhale to one side, bring the ribs in a little bit. Three more. Let the head and neck be nice and loose in a long line for two. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the other side. Three. And two. 
Good. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, release. You can swan dive all the way down here. Forward fold. Plant the hands on the chair if you're modifying. Come all the way down. Onto your bum. And go ahead into your seat. Ah, oh, good. We're just going to come into a Sukhasana, regular seated pose. Inhale, let the hands come up. Exhale, draw them together. Good. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, let that left hand come behind you, right hand to your knee. Just for a little twist. You can go deeper if you want to bring that hand to the opposite. Excuse me, knee. knee. I had my tea before I came on here. It's delicious. Three. And two. Good. Inhale all the way up. Exhale to the other side. One. And two. Good. Long and loose. Neck and shoulders. Last two. Good. Inhale, turn back to heart center. Put one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Breathe into the belly. Breathe into the ribs. Feel how calm you are. We're going to say this affirmation together. I am calm. I am peace. I fill my days with joy. And I let all fear release from my body. I am joy. I am peace. And I let all fear release from my body. Go ahead as you inhale, bring your hands behind you, fingers forward, and just release your feet to the wide part of your mat. Roll side to side. Now I'm going to give you a choice here. You can either take your bolster or pillows. So if you have pillows, you can line up uh, two or four. You don't want it too wide. You want them to be pretty soft like this and have four on top. Or you can grab your anything that looks like a, a bolster. It also can be a rolled up towel or several towels. Or if you don't have any props today, just go ahead and come right down into the Shavasana. My heart needs a little more opening. So I'm going to go ahead and roll down onto my bolster. And then you can do a full body stretch here. Inhale. And as you exhale, release. You can bring your feet together for Supta Baddha Konasana. Whether you're in Shavasana or just um, on a bolster, it doesn't matter. Okay. You're just going to come into that Supta Baddha Konasana. Go ahead and breathe into the belly. Let the arms do whatever they want to do. Exhale. So they can come up behind you. I don't want them to be too strained in the rotator cuff. So the best thing is to just let them fall next to you. Okay. They can also be on your belly. And I want you to feel the calm that you felt after tapping. We're just going to be here for a few moments. Go ahead and let any thought that comes in be replaced by the breath. I want you to picture thoughts as they come into your head like clouds in the sky. And just like the wind comes and blows the clouds away, they're going to blow this phase away from our lives before you know it. There'll be some pain. There'll be some suffering. But if we can release our worry through it all and just come back to the breath, come back to the wind. As my dad always says and teaches our grandkids, feast on the wind. I feast on the wind. You'll hear the sound of my voice and my melody to bring you out in just a few moments.
Karagate Parasamgate Orisaha Deepen your breath. Start to wiggle your eyes in their sockets left and right. Start to wiggle your ears. Exhale. If you're flat in Shavasana, bring the knees to your chest. If you're on pillows or bolsters, just roll off to the side. Staying for a moment, feeling that beautiful energy that you've created for yourself, nobody else. And you roll up to seated with me, eyes closed, hands together at the heart. You can either join me or just feel my vibration of my sound of peace with you. Let's breathe in. Ah. May all beings know peace. May all beings know their true power and their true nature and the true nature of our divine spirit. Let the light in me shine to that light in each of you. Let it shine to everyone. Let everyone feel your light. Om Shanti. Namaste. I thank you guys so much for being here with me. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your donations. They help so much in this time when our independent uh, contractors like myself uh, have lost all of our classes. So I really appreciate you spending this time with me. Um, I just wanted to read you one very short quote from Sean Korn. She says, breathe and all will be revealed. Love and all will be healed. This is yoga. Thank you guys so much. I will be here tomorrow, Friday, 10 a.m. and again at 9 p.m. And we'll take a break on the weekend so you guys can catch up on all the videos. Have an awesome night, guys. I will see you soon. By the way, I'm diffusing Copaiba. I'll write uh, about what I was going to talk about, which I forgot, but we're out of time. So have an awesome night. Bye-bye.